Hello, in this video I present a 58-year-old woman who diagnosed relapsing polychondritis at the age of 39. She presented with shortness of breath on exertion. Further investigations revealed tracheal stenosis, which was repeatedly dilated bronchoscopically. Eventually, she was referred to the Department of Thoracic Surgery. A pericardial patch tracheoplasty with silicone stent was performed. Stent was removed six months after the operation. Routine follow-up was uneventful for four years and then she represented with dyspnea. This video is her rigid bronchoscopy. Larynx and cord vocals are normal. No obstruction is seen in the tracheal lumen. Pericardial patch is slightly protruding to the lumen without causing an obstruction. Orifices of both main bronchi look slightly narrowed. When we pass through the right main bronchus, distal airways, including secondary crina, looks relatively normal. On the left side, it was clearly seen that the membranous part of the bronchus is bulging to the lumen, causing even further obstruction. Like the other side, distal airways with secondary crina looks normal. When we look at the tracheal lumen, Again, despite the midline cut during the previous operation, pericardial patch is located under the lateral wall of the trachea. We think that the trachea slightly rotated counterclockwise over the years. And sutures remaining from previous operation are clearly seen. Thanks very much for watching this video.